This video will go over setting up Thani, flashing MicroPython firmware, and writing a first program using MicroPython. Start by going to thani.org and click on the link to download Thani for your operating system. Then, go to your downloads directory and run the executable to install Thani. To get the MicroPython firmware, go to the Downloads page of MicroPython.org or follow the provided link. Download the latest stable firmware for ESP8266 microcontrollers. Plug in your ESP8266 Node MCU to your computer using a micro USB cable. Launch Thani and immediately navigate to Tools, Manage Plugins. Type ESP Tool into the search bar and click on Find Package from PyPI, then click Install. Next, navigate to Run Select Interpreter. Set the interpreter to MicroPython ESP8266 and the port to your device's port. Then open the MicroPython installation dialog. Select the same port as you did before. Then click on the Browse button and find the firmware file you downloaded previously from the MicroPython website. Make sure that Erase Flash Before Installing is checked. Then click Install. Close all of the open dialog windows. In the Shell tab at the bottom of Thani, you should see a REPL with the last line ending with three greater than symbols. If this does not resemble your shell, press the stop button at the top of Thani. In the REPL, type import ESP followed by the function esp.check underscore fw. If your output matches mine, then you are ready to program your Node MCU using MicroPython. Copy the following code into the Thani editor. This code initializes GPIO pin 16 as an output and blinks the built-in LED attached to it 10 times. After you have copied the code, navigate to File, Save As, and select MicroPython Device. Name the file main.py and click OK. Now click on the green play button at the top of Thani to run your program. You should see the LED on your Node MCU blink 10 times. This program will run every time you power up your microcontroller and every time you press the restart button. With Thani open, you can press the stop button at any time so you can enter REPL commands or upload another program. This concludes the video. I hope you found it helpful.